Good morning. I low-key look like Kim Possible, but it wasn't on purpose. So today I'm actually getting ready to head out to Tokyo because we are shooting for Mood Global, finally! I think that's like one of the downsides of working with professionals. Like, you actually gotta be on time. You can't be like, hey, I'm running late, homie, grab me a coffee, blah, blah, blah. Just me being on time for anything in the morning is really, really hard. I'd be in the bed, like, I will cancel a meeting with the president if I could. Anyways, I'm up now and I am very, very late, so I'm gonna call a taxi. I have so much stuff to carry and meet everyone down in Tokyo. Alright, we made it to Tokyo, but I'm starving and I made bad decisions. But you made them with me. You were already here when I got here. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Hi, I'm Sayaka. Hi, my name is Leah. Hi, I'm Layla and you're watching Disney. No! <laughs> And I'm shooting for a moon call. Did anyone ask you where you were from? <laughs> Hi, I'm Layla and I'm shooting for Mood Global. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Wait, are you serious? <laughs> Wait, are you being serious? Um, I'm it's shooting the English for, too. I'm shooting for the fall collection of Wait, what? For <laughs> I'm shooting. Can I just say it my own way? Like, sure. I'm, hey guys, I'm Layla and I am shooting for Mood Global's fall collection. Yeah, just let her do her own thing. checked in once but basically we've been shooting from nine Hi. it is now one o'clock we're gonna go clean up the studio we're just shooting stuff like outside but like this area Roppongi oh, it's so crowded like look this was the street I wanted to shoot on this was all the people in the street that I wanted to shoot on and that didn't happen Ash is still back there trying to get gimbal shots that we can hopefully like maneuver around the people everything went well though I wore some really crazy hair by the way this hair is from Victoria's wigs I am like obsessed with it I curled it last night and we've been out all day and it's still like lasting somehow Okay, I'm wearing an XL. So yeah, this is an XL and these are American sizes. So you guys have plenty of options. It's not Asian fit. Completely love this. It says Kyoto and then there are some words here on the side. This is also Kyoto and I wrote that on the back. It says Kyoto again. So yeah, there was like a couple of different drafts of this girl. I drew her and I just thought like, oh, she looks really raggedy. So I had a professional redraw her. Um, the same drawing that I did. Let me show you. So this is the drawing I did. I like it. I wanted something with skinny legs and kind of just unique and different with this outfit. Um, he redrew it and made it look a little bit more professional. <laughs> also, the colors are a lot brighter. I just, uh, I find it so strange that it's so normal to have white people in anime, but when black people are like, hey, and everyone attacks us like, why would you expect there to be a black person in anime? Why would you expect there to be black people in Japan? 
Why are there white people? Anyways, so we need to change that. Let's change that. And also I love that all my friends who are not black are like super duper excited to be wearing these types of sweaters and stuff. I wish we could just make it normal. People wearing things with brown people on them like or getting a brown Barbie doll. Like we had white ones. Why not? So yeah, I really, really wanted a piece from places that I've actually visited or places that I think you guys should visit. So this one is from my favorite place in Kyoto, Arashiyama. Like a little spot where you can enter and follow the signs to the bamboo forest. Don't go off of the main street. I don't know why it's not as pretty. I like the back route much better. Look at this. This is an actual picture that I took. And then this little design here is the brown anime girl. And she is holding, yes, that is right, a cup of ramen. Signature white socks. And of course, pink hair, because I just really love pink hair. And I wish I can always have pink hair. It comes in this beautiful sand color. I am obsessed with it. It does not show up on camera well at all. It just looks beige. But it's this, I don't know, it's this really unique sand color. I freaking love it. We are finally out um, shooting again. We're shooting the two custom things. Um, Ash is actually wearing the Kyoto sweater. And today we have somebody new. Taku! Hello. <laughs> so he's gonna be shooting the crackhead sweater. You guys have not seen this one yet. So this one is inspired by all of your comments calling me a crackhead. Like I have crackhead energy. Crackhead energy is a good thing. So this is the design. It's just a gray um, sweatshirt, but it's really good material. I think he's wearing, this is a large. Also these come in US sizes, so they're usually a lot bigger. So as you can see, this is a large, but if it's some like oversized. All right, so you guys have seen all of the Mood Global girls, but y'all not seen Mood Global boys. You had one job, just one, was just standing there. That was it. <laughs> oh shit. Single, super single. <laughs> Hey guys, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the love and support. I really, really appreciate it. It has been a struggle, but I am still here and I am so, so grateful. I am doing a giveaway over on the Mood Global Instagram if you guys are interested. All you have to do is tag two friends and comment the word done on the picture and that's it. Anyways, thanks again and I'll see you guys next time. Hi, I'm Sayaka and today we are shop. Uh <laughs> 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 Sorry, take two. Beep! <laughs>